close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. It's great if somebody has an amazing education, but I know from my own experience and my own life and, and, and other people that I, I work with that you don't have to have a degree to have value or to, you know, be of tremendous worth to different businesses. That street smarts, that experience, uh, that just kind of internal kind of creative know-how uh, is just as valuable as a degree. I realize most of us don't like speaking out the truth of the situation you're facing in this country when it comes to unemployment. And I don't know, we, we, we don't even advise our brothers and sisters who are still behind and coming with a lot of force, with a lot of hopes of uh, getting jobs out here and being doctor this and that and that and being engineer this, this is and that. Yeah. I'm just shooting this video to let these kids know the honesty about what's going on out here that is not spoken so that they get to prepare themselves emotionally, physically, everything, yeah, for what they are coming out here to face and which normally we call it outside world when you're living campus, we call it outside world. And when I'm shooting this video, it is something I say I wish I did it uh, before so that at least most of our youths don't get to suffer when they're hitting these job markets and getting disappointed. And I'm also shooting this video because I feel I was cheated. I feel I was never prepared for what I was coming to face out here. I didn't know it was this tough. I didn't know you have to, to, to struggle to get a job as much as you have papers, as much as you can execute duties and all that. It's, it's a hassle to just get something like a job you can go to from, you know, from nine to five and all that, like you were told back in school. Because I remember I was told um, when you study hard, you will, ne you will never miss job opportunities out here. And you need to go for really those serious courses because not every lady does it. You know, those those are the things you are being told. But um, most of our parents and teachers are really forgetting what is called talent. Yeah. Most of us grew up having so much talent, but we had to put them aside knowing books is everything. If you're in this millennials uh, bracket, you definitely know that's how we were being told by our teachers and our parents. But I guess maybe they just wanted us to get serious in school or anything. But I don't think they even cared about how we were coming out here to suffer, to look for those job opportunities. Because it's not as compared as it used to be in the 90s when looking for jobs. Right now, it's totally different, guys. So, um, I would like to tell you, um, all is not lost, yeah, because you have a lot. You have a lot, and when I say you have a lot, I mean the talents you have. You got to revive your talents. You got to have your talent alongside um, the course you are, pursue, you are pursuing at the moment, yeah. Just have that as... Um, I would say as a tool to fight other wars, but not necessarily to 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 fight this job of of employ this work of employment or uh, to get money to put food on your table and all that. Just have it as a tool. Yeah, you are respected out here when you've gone through school. That I know. Yeah, so that's why I'm telling you for school, keep on going. You need that education because what you're getting from school is education. But alongside, you have talent. Guys, everything is a talent. Everything out here is making money for everyone. If you have it in form of a talent and you can deliver and you don't even have to go to school for it, like it's just inborn, you are blessed and don't put that aside. Yeah, make use of it. Even if you're going to create like two hours, five hours for it, 
yeah because i would say i regret not doing makeup in campus in high school in primary not teaching people how to do it because it's something that for me i would say it was just inborn i didn't like you know go to school to to know how to apply makeup and all that i didn't so i feel like that that talent that was really wasted for the longest period of time i would have made so much money with it i would have changed so many people's lives out here in knowing how to just apply their own makeup instead of spending so much money to have their makeup done yeah so if you have any talent yeah for those also who are going in um uh, these beauty schools and all that i know your parents are not even interested in listening to hey beauty what do you mean acting what's that the only terms your parents understand is um you are uh, you've done finances you've done medicine you've done uh engineering you've done those big termed courses yeah and these smaller ones like teaching and all that it's it wasn't even making sense then and it's not making sense now but tell you what i envy teachers right now these people are super rich out here yeah i envy teachers i don't want to go deep into how they handle their teaching or teaching section and hustling section but uh i just feel bad i never did teaching and i remember when you're being asked in high school uh what would you like to be in future my god if you didn't say doctor or engineer you are lost you're not even supposed to be in that class yeah if the teacher would ask about who would love to be a teacher nobody would even raise like hands up and say hey i would love to be a teacher nobody but look who which guys are doing so fine out here it's them yeah i did my financial course and trust me out here has not been good yeah the rate at which we still hustling for jobs is 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 funny right now if you don't have money yeah to buy your job you're lost yeah and people don't want to talk about it but this is the truth out here jobs are not there like 55 percent of youths are unemployed and these are the reasons why they are unemployed people retire at around uh, 55 some 65 and all that these people are in, are in offices and doing extremely nothing they would come to work relax they're tired i mean they're not active they are filling up positions that um youths that are graduating needs to come in and fill up i don't know why the the government is blind yeah and sometimes i always ask myself what are these old people still doing in offices yeah and if you want to even go for those governmental jobs because in our country when you study your type of study is only structured to fit you in our governmental jobs you can't get these international jobs in our country no you cannot and i would be i would be sitting here and lying to you to tell you it's easy to get such international jobs if you didn't study abroad or you didn't study any international course yeah you just need to finish up school fit in this governmental job jobs where you are paid a salary of 25 20000 guys look at our houses they are super expensive right now. Life is so expensive. These salaries are not even revised. And for you to even get that particular job, like I have a friend of mine who had been really struggling to get um, this particular job in the government. It's a government office. And he is asked to pay something like even after interview and he even asked this guy like i passed my interview you know what these guys told him who told you that just passing interview is everything there's another process you have to go through and the next process was to cash in you have to cash in and they would be like um if you're wasting our time there are people waiting in the queue and guys Nowadays, the the hongo, the 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 nini, the chai, whichever name you might call it, 
200,000 is just nothing to them because I remember my friend was begging with 200,000 and they insisted they wanted 550,000 and everyone was paying that amount of money so you can imagine the hiring like a, like around 100 people and each person is raising 550,000 and it's a very secretive thing that nobody knows about even my friend was so scared giving me that story and even if I'm putting this story here I will never give out this information as to which particular organization is doing this which is seriously wrong we have papers we have the ability you know we need jobs yeah but if we we are not able to get jobs my advice is this study in Kenya yeah if that's all your parents can afford Afterwards, come and hustle whatever you can hustle. Alongside, apply for these international universities. When you get opportunities with these people, they will even tag sponsorship alongside. Go study there. Yeah, You can either work there or come back and work in Kenya, but work in our country. But majorly, you will be working under these international companies whereby they appreciate human effort. You're paid with the time you've spent in the organization. And like these other employers that would give you 20,000 of the month or 30 or 40 or 50. Like, we have so much responsibilities. And that's why most people are resorting to, to theft. Yeah, Look at how people are stealing money from the government. It's a lot of money. If, if if all these things were not being gazetted for us, trust me, we wouldn't have been having this information out here. These offices are built up. They collect money from us who are employed in, in the name of pay, in the name of what. The other day, the, the housing money just came up. Now my pay slip is going to be affected for more no reason. This is just money that's being accumulated for another huge theft that is just about to come like this is just a lot for us youths to take and for what i know we are in so much debt as a country and this is money that's going to affect this is one debt that's going to affect us for the longest period of time yeah do you really want to sit around and watch these people messes up if all you care about is finishing finishing up your education you come here and spread your cvs to a hundred and so different companies and hoping for the best it's not going to work for you and the only thing that's going to affect you is depression yeah which graduates to different levels next thing you commit suicide it's not like we are even shocked nowadays youths are committing so much suicide because you see um what i was promised is not the same is not what's happening out here we are not trained so much to come and meet these troubles that guys are facing in this outside world when you see someone doing so good you just think got that position so easily you know yeah nowadays even for the ladies who used to sleep with bosses to get jobs this thing is no longer happening if this boss slept with this lady then how many multiple ladies is he going to sleep with yeah, and still promise the same position and still not get it. I saw that in my previous organization. Ladies were being used like nonsense. And when you wait for positions, you don't get it. Yeah, you get frustrated. You look so stupid. You end up even, you know, resigning and all that. It happened. Where are they right now? They are depressed. They're in their homes. They went back to uh, shags. Yani. It, it's a lot happening so for me I just wanted to put this out there for you just to know that um, you need to know what really will come and work for you out here not jobs yeah these are people's um, I would say these are people's companies yeah these are governmental jobs that older people are not willing to leave at any time so you will just come out here and get frustrated 
for the IT guys, you have been taught so much. You can do programming on your own. You can create websites for people. You can start coming up with different apps for, let's say, uh, shopping apps and all that. And you can make so much money. Like, look at Amazon. Where did it start from? And where are they right now? They are making billions and trillions. Yeah. Be behind something that's doing so good just because it was um, your talent. Yeah. But don't come out here thinking you're going to make it in life by being employed by someone. The only way you're going to survive in this country is when you're employed. The next thing you're you're on probation you'll be on probation for like six months after six months you get confirmed after confirmation like this trust me you'll go for a loan after taking a loan yeah you will go do your things you will come back for another top up and it will be just top up life top up life top up life yeah there is no day you're going to live without a loan just because you you just decided to sit on your talent do not sit on your talents guys when you come out here and don't listen so much to your teachers education get that education come out here make someone feel different about it but don't use that education to come and prosper out in this outside world you are going to fail you are going to completely fail if there's one thing I usually say about uh, talent is for me, um, while I was growing up, I was such an actor, you know, in even how I was explaining myself to teachers or anything, like I was just that. But were we, were we given uh, opportunities to really express ourselves of the things we can do? No, I was dancing a lot every time. They would organize sessions to go out there and compete in dramas that now in high school dance dancing i did that from from um primary you know these were just entertainment beat they were just extracurricular activities that you were just doing but they were not making us believe that out here we can really make money by doing that yeah because i feel uh if really uh, my my talent would have been nurtured properly, either I would have been an actor, sorry, an actress, dancer, I would have been uh, doing modeling and fashion combined, you know, but apart from that, I would also be a very, very good lawyer. It's just because with law, wow, I just looked at six years. That's a lot of time for me to be in school. So I didn't go the law side. But also the law for you to really make it in this country, it's a hustle. I'll tell you. So it's a hassle because I also have friends who did law. The friends now, uh, the ones that we were in that, you know, category of top five and top ten, you know them, yeah? you are being recognized in school and all that and we were the ones whose future were going to be so bright bright out here but look at us yeah those people who got d's and e's are the ones coming up with they're using their talents just to come up with organizations and absorb the guys who got a's to work for them that's how unfortunate it is that's why I say universities need to stop this, um, this, this trend of if you got this grade, you're going to this university. If you got this grade, you're, you know, they're even coming up with how do we call it, um, other courses for guys who got is what are guys who got is doing in campuses and colleges. These are people that now you need to sit them down. You need to come up with these talent um, talent sections. Now, once that they're just going to learn how to use what they have because books is a no-no for them. Why are you creating courses? Because for what I know with campuses and, and, and these colleges, they're all coming up to make money. These are people's investments. Yeah, they will do anything to dig money out of your pocket. What are you going to do 
to do in school when you got D and E's. Make use of your talents. Go get motorbikes. Make money. People who are who have if there are people who have fleet of motorbikes and they're making so much money there's another day i was just listening to a motor uh, to a um, kokoteni guy who made money to buy his first motorbike and still never left his uh his his mkokoteni just to employ someone and also thinking of buying a second one and even coming up with a whole fleet why are we not thinking why are we struggling with these white collar jobs which guys mistreat us because honestly we're getting mistreated yeah that's why for me alongside employment of course you have to have something that's making you money alongside yeah and that is now the talent yeah you have to teach people how to put their outfits together you have to teach people how to wear their makeup when going for parties when going for interviews when going for events like those are things that are making so much money out here because there are people who are super rich but are not aware of how to do some things for themselves. So if they can pay you to actually pull that for them, then why not? And then another sad thing, just I think it was in, in April, um, around February, March there, our MP, Education Minister, was struggling with um having most of the youths caught up and jailed because they are not done paying their help loans even some haven't started even paying those help loans and youths were super honest alongside with their parents they were like we don't have jobs yes we went to school we don't have jobs if you can give us jobs to generate this money to pay um our loans our help loans then that's fine but unfortunately, she was still just interested in, you know, having them jailed. And this woman was forgetting, yeah, there are some of us out here who used that help loan, paid our loan, and I even paid excess only for them to stop, um, to stop refunding uh, excess money. Like, what are you still doing with my money? What are you still doing with other people's money who paid it in excess? Yeah, because I don't remember if I filled that form and say, I need this donated. Yeah, I'm still struggling out here. And therefore, this is, this is money that I still need. It's just because my employer submitted it in excess. It's high time they also consider releasing the excess money that, that they have from individuals. Yeah. Then there's this, this I, I was also thinking this money that he siphoned from the youths, uh, from the youth, the one that was stolen and the case was just rushed and now it's nowhere. That money was eaten up, all of it. Yeah, they need to also come up with money that would service these youths, would take these youths to schools or would finance youths in terms of the talents they have, the ideas they have that they require being financed because the sick bit of it is that they employ guys under the youth um, youth funds. They end up stealing and stealing. Guys are driving big cars in their 26, 25 years and all that until the president even decides to get someone older to run that office because he's tired of theft. I mean, look at us. Look at us. Yeah, and this is this is this is the government you're expecting to get out of school and come to the intoxicated one when it comes to employment. Yeah, I remember I I said in when I turn twenty five I'll be driving my own car, not my husband's. I would be married, yeah, happily married, owning my own home, yeah. It didn't happen. It's not like I didn't make it happen. I'm here. I have papers. I have the intelligence. I have everything. I can execute duty. But where are the jobs? We hustle for them. You go for interviews. You pass them. But what next? Yeah. Even you, you're not even getting rejects. You're, you're even called. You pass the interview. But you don't. You can't even raise the money to, to bribe them. Because you don't have it. 
when you even look at um how how our payslips are being treated by this government there's just some things we can't stop yeah the other day nssf nssf deduction went up nhif went up uh tax also went up now we're having the the housing tax creeping in into our creeping into our payslips yeah the the whatever the the tax returns we usually um compile my god you find excess yeah that's supposed to be returned to you but where does this money go to nobody communicates about this money yeah and also us as busy as we are trying to look for the little we can get we don't have time to go to to carry to queue over there to you you're trying to get your money back you just let it go just to also say um recently i'm a, for i would say for the longest time i get so many sms's and calls for guys asking me for jobs and all that i just want to make it clear i'm also struggling for the same opportunities the same way you're also struggling for opportunities i'm not employing yet i'm still working under someone yeah so someone holds you accountable for not assisting him or her saying ah there are these friends who made it in life and they don't even care about us right now and all that how much do you care about me if it's not just looking for that job how many times do you call me and check up on me yeah if it's not just about calling to look for a job yeah let's all hustle and it's so frustrating to find even my friend is asking me if she can get a cleaning job to be paid ten thousand shillings i mean that's how unfortunate this situation is that's how hard life is out here and you can imagine when you use your talent ten thousand will just be nothing you'll just be getting it in a day not in a month yeah and also you don't need to rely on friends and relatives to look for jobs for you i remember my dad connected me to someone again in the governmental office and he's doing so good he's so senior in the government but i just gave him my papers the next thing he like i'll communicate and he said for some time i called him uh he'll come he's just still telling me you know it has to take time i'm like okay fine and then one day i call him he tells me he, who is this then I start expressing myself, I'm, I'm Barak's daughter, and you know, he's like, you know, it takes a while, so just wait. I think this is three years, three years as we speak, yeah? This guy never called me back, and I never called him, because I stopped relying on people looking for opportunities for me, because they, they're also still hustling for opportunities, and beauty is not taking us anywhere i say this all the times women just think with their beautiful faces their physical appearance it's very easy to get jobs out here i'm very serious about this ladies it's not happening nowadays it's not happening ladies are pretty here ladies would go bleach to look good ladies will go do some adjustments around their hips, butts, and all that, and boobs, and all that, and they look good. In Nairobi, I mean, tell me who who's ugly. Nobody. And men want to sample all these women in front of you in the name of a job. So do you also want to go down the same road because you're just looking for a job? And you have papers, you have beauty, you have brains. Yeah? There's nothing as important as a woman who has papers who has beauty and who has brains like that's just too much you know that's very very important than a woman who just had you only have beauty you just think beauty is all that's going to 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 assist me make it out here no you will find so many women out here that you interact with a closet dropout a form four dropout 
yeah they don't have clear education they don't have clear information of where we are headed to and this is the people you want to come out in this market and compete with when them they're reasoning in terms of duty and using their body to 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 get jobs and it's normally called sexually transmitted jobs they know that works for them for those who who've been who've been able to use that process and get opportunities well and good for you but for those who haven't or those who've not even made effort just know your brains your papers will take you far yeah and by your brains is don't forget the talents you have i will still preach this the most important thing in this yeah come out here to create jobs not to look for jobs otherwise you'll drop several cvs and get disappointed yeah then one final thing i would love to say me i'm really grateful for my current employer because it's even easy to interact and work amongst ourselves i mean they need young energetic people and every time as advertising jobs and what really gets you through the interview is your brains you know and being young your blood is you know you 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 can work you can move you can execute duty in the given time possible yeah this is one employer that really really takes fresh youths and they when they're employing they would be specific if there are positions there are positions that they would, they would say would love to absorb um fresh graduates yeah there are positions which definitely is open to everyone you know but age will definitely matter to them age and brains will matter to them i really appreciate them and if kenya we can really save these old people from offices that check into work super late don't execute duties and that's why we have problems with the immigration and and the bath bath offices and you know they can't work they are tired still using files files that are dirty that have a lot of dust yeah when you go there checking for any document you need they're not willing to work unless you 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 greet them with some money and it's sick you just greet them with 50 bob or 100 shillings and he's so excited to do something for you just because they are paying super they are paid super less amount yeah and this is not something that young energetic youth want to come out here and do so i would love to say this is one video that will benefit any sister or brother or yeah relative of yours that's still behind in school in campus and all that don't talk yourself with books don't talk yourself with so much degrees degrees and and come out here and and get frustrated yeah just know your limit know the 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 course you need and get out of cam campus come out here and hustle not for a job hustle with the talent that you have hustle with the information and the education you've gotten from school yeah and if this video really is going to benefit you as an individual who's watching please share it with the next individual and also the youngsters who are still coming up so yeah i'm so glad i've been able to put this out here it's been for some time i've been thinking about uh putting this video together now i have and i'm so grateful that i have done it so thank you so much for watching and let's look forward for my next video goodbye